seeds are important, but not as more important than the soil. If the soil isn't rich and healthy, how could a seed be produced? We all have a heart, but what things are you allowing to be planted in you that could produce a tree or flower? We were all born with a purpose. And when we leave from this place, we're going to leave that behind us for others to pick up. We must take care of what we have honorably. But so far, many have seen women come into power and dominating a man, whether at work or even at home. Not all, but some because of her intellect and her advanced growth in a job or career. Such things is possible. But when it comes to an attitude that caused havoc should not be permitted. I have seen this quite a few often where it seems like the man just lost his manhood and it's in the palm of the woman's hands. That sort of Jezebelic relationship in the man which represents King Ahab bows before her when in fact he's a leader and a protector. This isn't to say that men are weak, no. Because we wasn't born to be weak. We were born and raised to be what God has called us to be. But there are things and people that can rob us of our identity and we'll lose our character. Acting like someone we didn't want to be or picking up a habit that our ancestors had struggles with. Deep inside, we cry out to be saved. And only God can hear a silent scream. But trust me when I say this, my brothers. God hears you and he will respond with word and action. You were born to be kings, lords, prince. You were made out to carry God's power to move mountains and destroy any hindrance. You are not limited. Only your thoughts think so. So don't listen to what your mind has to say. Satan attacks the mind, planting seeds of stupidity and confusion. So you can doubt who you are as a man. Let's look at the young boy David for a minute. Before David was king, he was a shepherd, taking care of the sheep. Soon he was to be anointed as king by Samuel. You see, God seen David as a king when he was just a little boy. His own father had all his sons in the presence of Samuel to see which one will be anointed as king. David was outside with the flock, and yet none of them was chosen except David, the youngest. And when he got older, David didn't stop being a shepherd. He just moved to a next level and became a king over the people. You see, when David was a boy, he was a shepherd to the sheep. But when he became a man, he became a king over the people. If you're single, use this time to plant seeds of holiness and peace and healthy living. You have a body, take care of it. You have a soul, a spirit, take care of it. It's no point on being equipped with all this knowledge and don't have nothing to do with it. It's pointless and you're smarter than that. You were born single, but being single again isn't enjoyable as being with someone that you used to have fun with. Now it's you by yourself. And the things you may do may not be as exciting as it is before. But trust me, it will get there. This is the perfect time to know yourself more. When you do, and when people or women approach you, they'll find you more attractive because you yourself is whole by the grace of God. So be wise about your next decision. You see, this message isn't just for all men. Some men need to hear this. Some already know this. If you know it already, then you know it's the truth. It's for this reason why men should not be alone. Although we can do much, sometimes we can't work good out of loneliness. 
We can be productive and prosper accordingly, but on the other side, things can happen when we are alone, such as suicide. Loneliness settles in and we drive into things that can be a waste of time. But there are some good things about being alone. Elijah was alone. Moses was alone. The same with Ezekiel, Isaiah, and Abraham. God knows about your single season, but this is the time when he will plant the seeds in you in order for you to go where you need to go, be who you are supposed to be, and have what you are supposed to have. Sometimes the world is too loud and God needs that quiet time with you so that he can give you visions, revelations, and provision. When the world is too loud, he will guide you or lead you to a quiet place. And that's when you will know more about him personally. When I was locked up, I had the Bible. Times that I was alone, my own private area, it was the same. It's just moments away, seasons away from the world. That's all. Tyrese Gibson once said, it's expected that a woman will be a good mother because women are naturally nurturing and embracing. Fall in love over and over again. Flirt with each other. How the way y'all met, do it again. Don't get no one else involved. Put the phones down and pay attention and understand what's in front of you, especially if you want them as your wife. Husbands, my friends, stay strong. You'll be surprised the influence you have on others just by the way you act. Guys notice other guys. And if you're wearing a ring and getting close to someone else who doesn't belong to you, we see that as a sign of unfaithfulness. And a scar on a wife's heart, she will find out. I'll tell you the truth. Nothing could be hidden from a woman for so long. Be honest. But most importantly, be faithful. You don't want her doing the same things you're doing in private then that means you shouldn't be doing it either. The reason why I'm telling you this is because me personally, I hate divorces. And as the last couple of years, even on TV and just hearing about it in the courthouse, that people that put in so much time and energy, experiences, love, and then decades later or years later, it just going down the drain as if it never happened. That's pure trash to me. Now I see the importance of relationship and marriage counselors before and after. I see that there is importance on seeking wise counsel. Early this year, I had an opportunity to meet one of WWE classic wrestler and Hall of Famer Ted DiBiase, known as the Million Dollar Man back in the day. And now he's evangelizing around the world. And I remember what he said, whatever you do, put God first. Be careful of the bitter breast milk that you drink from, whether it's from a friend or from a family member, because they can influence you to be against what God has for you. I say this to keep you aware of the many women that have lost hope for men and turn one another against them. Therefore, when I say bitter breast milk is because if you decide to lay your head on their heart of a hateful woman and she's feeding you her pain and sorrow after what a man did to her, you take that milk or should I say seed and you keep it inside allowing the bitter seed to grow, the bitter milk that you're harvesting in and you start to become hostile towards them. But you have a decision to make. Either you can learn from their pain or you're going to cover yourself with their same discomfort and hate men for the rest of your life just because of what you heard someone else said to you. As you can hear, not all seeds are good, but not all are bad. Just be careful of what you plant inside of you. I'm not on here to cancel your plans, but to give hope to the hopeless and faith to the doubter. You may have held dear stories in your mind about something someone you love did to you or to others, but don't project that out to someone new or to those around you. I'm sure you'll watch out for the signs, but don't stop love from flowing from within you. 
if you don't forgive someone, that pain becomes a void. It will leave you empty and you will have to fill it up with something. And sometimes retaliation is the only medicine that you drink from to see the other person suffer the way you did. Let's look at the story of Joseph for a moment. Do you remember what he went through? I'm going to make this very brief. If Joseph didn't forgive his brothers, Jesus would have not been born. From being thrown in a pit, then sold to slavery away from his own family, then being nearly molested by another man's wife, then being lied on and then thrown into prison, but he arrives into power. And as soon as he seen his brothers, he could have killed them, but he forgave them. You see, if Joseph didn't forgive them, the Israelites would cease to exist. There wouldn't be no Moses, nor the prophets, and Jesus wouldn't even come. One of Joseph's brother is named Judah. Jesus came from the lineage of Judah. Jesus is called the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Forgiveness is a big issue. If you know you have problems in this area because of the scars of your troubled past and it's affecting you and those near you and it seems as if it's being passed down the line as if it's just a curse, here's the cure. Put the phone down. Go into a private area where you are not interrupted nor disturbed and pour out your problems to God and he will hear you and he will work on you so that you will be healed and set free. You see, God is in the business of healing and delivering people. All right, let's get back into it. Us guys are more givers than anything. Not seeking nothing in return, but to just see a smile. It shows us that y'all are appreciative, and it confirms that you have accepted not just a gift, but us as well. When a boy does right, he gets praised for it. It motivates him to keep doing it constantly. Ladies, we love praises. Words of affirmation is gold to us. When you speak highly of us, we feel honored. Put it like this. Men are made in the image of God. God sits in the midst of his praises from his people. And he moves accordingly, especially when you thank him. God is satisfied. As it is with a boy, it is the same with a man. We're not asking to be your Lord, but to be respected. You see, if a boy does wrong in school, what happens? He makes up for it so that he can get out of punishment and back to right standards. When a man slips up, what happens? He will do whatever he can to get back on right standards with you. That's why we buy things y'all like so that y'all won't lose that smile for us. You see, it is easy to get with someone, but it can be a challenge to keep them because no one ever taught you that the man that you are supposed to be with is this or is that. You see, in the days of old, the ancient era, it was quite easy because of certain regions and countries had similar cultures and traditions. Nowadays, the movement have evolved into something very different, something I prefer to say independent. And it becomes a surprise that the person you're with isn't like you or wasn't raised in your household because we were trained different from you and we don't necessarily operate the same way you do remember when god said man should leave his mother and father and be joined or cleave with his wife and they too should become one flesh you see in order for one to cleave he must leave not just leaving the nest but leaving those things behind the things that he was taught because sometimes guys hear things from other men growing up and it turned to be very very bad on our end because of the way that we were taught which is not necessarily our fault it's just that our ears were open to negativity and ignorance so we have to be renewed and sometimes it take you to help us for you to support us to show us the way what may be a weakness to us could destroy the entire family God has given us men the responsibility to know our wife but in order for this to happen you must be able to open yourself up for that 
because no one don't understand a closed book, neither could one read it. You see, God created you for a reason, and that reason may seem as if it's a mystery, is because it is. God has you on this journey, and when you get to heaven, it's just a continuation of where you left off, but better, way well, hey, better. You're always guarded when you stay close to Christ. Don't seek attention from online people, because you don't know who's really following you, and the attention that you're seeking may be what you really don't want. Don't get your senses twisted, carrying off in life as if you're not loved or you're not needed or that you need someone's approval. I'll tell you this, one of the greatest feelings of freedom to ever have is having nothing to prove. I want you to realize that God himself will actually praise you. So seek no one's approval. If you're single, God is your husband until one comes in the flesh. If there is no father for your child, God becomes a father to your kids. So give him all access in your life, all areas of your heart. One of the main reasons why I'm actually doing this video is because some women don't get along with men. Though some can get one, it takes a hard time to keep one. And it also goes vice versa. That's the reason why I'm doing this. Because I love to see relationships and also love to see them grow into something and not divorce. Sometimes it's hard for a woman to understand a man because there was no man around, nor father, nor uncle, no one. So man becomes a foreign species when a woman grows up. You will always be attracted to a man, drawn to one, but it becomes a challenge to keep him. So you figure that maybe the only way that he can stay is to give him what you think that he want, which is sex. To be real with you, it's not even your fault because this had this actually happened. Because you didn't know. But now that you do, you can do better and be better. So carry this into your future. This is why it's said by a lot of people that blessings come in every lesson. So when a guy does come around, you already be prepared, but always be honest. Don't give a man a leeway and when he decides to get close to you, don't push him off or ignore him. You got to tell him in the beginning. Us guys were like hunters, you know, lions, tigers, bears. <laughs> but if a guy is pursuing you, start off being friends first. Don't manipulate. Don't uh, manipulate a man. Remember, God is always watching and he do listen. And cover yourself. No one wants a gift that's being shown to the world to see. Because all you're doing is attracting people that will lust after you. You are very special. You are a gift to man because you are also a gift to God. Don't unwrap yourself. Don't uncover yourself for him to see you. You are a gift. You are present. He's going to find out what kind of person you really are. I guess I can say we live in an adulterated era. Anything we want is just a click away. You can, a guy can see a, a cute girl online and be drawn to what she's revealing, but that's all that's going on. And what that's happening is that this person is being clouded by any potential for anyone to acknowledge her because everybody is drawn to what she has, but yet her heart and mind is closed. The world does not need to see another body. What the world needs to hear is your testimony. People need to hear your story, how you overcame, so you can make it a blessing to this generation and also the next. I love you all, ladies. Take care.